Okay, in this tutorial we are going to very quickly be drawing up the laser cut disc which will support your um, your lampshade um, to the, the lamp bulb itself, the lamp, lamp bulb fixing. Okay, in order to do that you need to make sure that grid lock is activated. Click and hold down on the circle tool and click the second circle along which is draw a circle with a given centre and radius. Okay. I'd like you to type the radius in as being um, 70 millimeters, okay, 70, and then click OK. And then you need to click on one of these dots. It doesn't really matter where. Um, we have got gridlock um, activated, so you can only click on one of those dots. Okay, single click, and that will um, position it. Okay, go back to the select tool, and then back to the circle tool. Change this radius to 14. Click OK, and position that second circle in the center there. Okay. Excellent. Zoom in to your page okay. and draw a single line from the center of your circle to the left hand side of that larger circle. Okay. Have you got a print out two of these letters? Okay. Right click the grid. Okay. Change the grid spacing to one millimeter spacing for X and one millimeter spacing for Y. Click OK. You've now got a smaller grid. Let's zoom in even further. Okay, and just scroll across here. Okay. At the edge of your circle, okay, let's draw a line that is 10 millimeters long. And you can see at the bottom of your page here the distance between that first click and where your cursor is, it is currently. Okay. Find um, 10, press Enter. Okay. And then from that point, I'd like you to come up um, one and a half millimeters. Okay, and at the moment the grid won't allow you to do that. Okay, so we can change the grid spacing by right-clicking the grid, changing the grid spacing to 0 0.5. That's 0.5. Okay, half a millimeter. Okay, finding where that line is that we have just drawn. Okay, which is there. Let's zoom in to where the end of that line is, which is. Yeah, I'm just going to place my finger on the screen okay, to locate that point. Okay. And then I'll come up by one and a half millimeters. And click again to draw that across. Okay. We can then go back to the selection tool, select that area, um, and copy and paste it. So Control C with it selected, and Control V pastes it. Move that just the other side of that um, horizontal line, like so, and that is um, your first slot. Okay, we can just single up that central line there, delete until we've just got that horizontal. Okay. Okay. Now, let's copy, well, let's first group, so edit group with that part selected. Um, then we need to copy and paste that all the way around your circle and a great way of doing that is going to the draw tool, transform, rotate, angular rotation should be 30 degrees and that will enable you to have um, 12, 12 segments within the 360 degrees and we are going to repeat this, um, this shape 11 times to go all the way around because we've already got one component there. Okay, click OK, zoom in to that central part, okay, and click, and you'll see that, that that piece is copied and pasted all the way around. Okay. Delete, you have to delete these um, these lines that we no longer need, they're just there to construct your drawing, um, but you will need to ungroup those lines. So let's select everything, edit, ungroup, and then we can delete those central lines. Around. I'm just clicking it and deleting on my keyboard. Okay. Zoom out a little bit so you can see everything. Make your selection of the overall design. Change the line width to fine. The color to red. And there you have it. Your design for um, your laser cut um, card component that will hold whatever you slot into it for your shade. Okay. And that's it.